Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and we're in 3.3 and on board the Hammerhead. So that's pretty exciting, right? <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a tour of the ship. I turned off the engines. We're in free flight right now just to make sure that this is mostly high frames, undisturbed by anything else. Um, so basically, we are in the co pilot seat. There's one on the right, there is the pilot seat on the left. Uh, if you are interested in controlling the ship, you have MFD right there. You also have a couple in front of you, above you. And then as far as ship controls go, it is basically all on this panel up to your left. If you're in the pilot seat, it's all up to your right. Um, and then when we look at visibility, pretty good overall. You know, frontal visibility is fine. You've got some, uh, you know, standard struts that you need to worry about, but you've got good window placement. Um, below you, you've got good visibility as far as providing, um, you know, downward firepower and being able to see where you're going. And there was some contention about the grate over here, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, people saw that and were like, oh my god, we're going to all of a sudden get into a situation to where we're going to have, you know, limited visibility. Well, in the pilot seat and the co-pilot seat, it's not an impactful thing. Originally in the design, these seats were designed to retract back to over here. You got in and it was going to pull you forward. Now they just kind of rotate out to where you step out onto this. But what it gives you is the scenario to where somebody can stand right here and have an outstanding view of everything that's going on without having any of the responsibilities of actually controlling the ship or its functions. So it's a very good change in my mind because otherwise this person would have been relegated to standing, I don't know, here, <laughs> which isn't as good. So let's go ahead and go back. Um, it's important to remember that the bridge on the hammerhead is actually on the lower level. You can take the ladder up, but we are civilized people and we like to use elevators. So let's go ahead and go up. There's nothing to see going this way. So let's go ahead and head back into the ship. So based on the design, if we come off to the side, you know, we get the split, you know, kind of design. Um, this right here is an elevator. It takes you outside of the ship. So if you land, this is an, a good area where you can actually get back into it. Let's go ahead and run down a little bit. You get the you know quarters. So here, turret, escape pods. One nice thing on this ship is um, there's pretty good detail in regards to what you're actually seeing. So you got escape pods over here, which all good. You can get in. We can get into a turret if we want, and we'll go ahead and do that. Doors close. The interior doors close. You rotate around. You then are pushed out into the turret. You get your controls. And then you get your ability to rotate around. Um, you can see, and I've got low uh, sensitivity right now, so it's hard to really tell. Um, but if you look at the actual firepower, it is very significant, <laughs> which is great. Um, you can also change your fire mode, um, which doesn't currently work right now. So just so you know, like I'm pushing the button to fire and it doesn't work. But when you start talking about trying to track down fighters, going with that alternating approach is a very good idea. So we're going to go ahead and exit this and continue our little tour. All right, here we go. And here's some of the design I was talking about. So we can go this way to the cargo and engine. We can go that way to the bridge. So we're going to go ahead and head back towards um, the uh, non-bridge area. You got components here, so batteries um, not currently accessible. However, a lot of the areas, like here, components, will go in. You'll notice the doors kind of rotate up in. That's pretty cool. These are some that you do have the ability to access, or at least you did in Ivakati. Let me see if we still have that. Nope, you can't get them to open. There's some doors that will actually open for you. Um, you've got engineering stations. They're probably going to still be glitched out. Yeah, visually they are. But you get the idea of being able to come into a component room and do some controls. And there's several of these around the ship, which is very good. Go back, you'll notice some familiar anvil green. It's kind of padded. Um, we'll head on into the crew quarters. Ah, door. These close a little faster than they should. I think that'll be adjusted. So you got bunk beds. So you've got essentially eight beds in here. Showers. Yep. 
the do function, hot and cold, set your temperature to the way you like. We are still vampires, nothing showing in the mirrors. Go ahead and head on to the other side of the ship, still labeled crew quarters, so there's two ways in. Back here is where you start getting into some of the engineering areas. Um, right here, this actually will, and I'll show you in a sec, um, you have your primary engines with some cool effects. I think these are mostly damage effects. I'm assuming in a fully functioning ship that you're not going to have all of these. Um, but you do have displays here that you'll eventually be able to work and make sure that you're doing, you know, whatever you need to on the ship. I will uh, open this up for you. Oop, I don't want to be on that. <laughs> You go primary elevator into the ship. That right there, and what you're seeing in front of you is landing gear. So you can see how you can load up cargo, a vehicle, maybe a Merlin if you're creative. Uh, as we head towards the rear of the ship, you have the backward facing turret. So let's go ahead and head back forward. Again, you have the uh, description on the floor. In here, you've got spacesuits. They are kind of creepy because you're not used to seeing these. It almost looks like people waiting around. <laughs> we have another elevator, so we will go up. Nothing that way, so we will go this way. It's almost like a uh, cargo overview area, so you can see what's happening. Uh, you have another engineering station here, which is very good. I like having those placed around the ship. shield generator, so component housing. As an engineer, it's going to be important to know where all this stuff is so you can access it when you need it. Mess hall. Come on, door. Area for your crew to eat. Stations so people can understand what's going on. You've got microwaves, coffee, water, bean. <laughs> it kind of sounds like coffee. Supply closet. So, you know, food you could put in here, water, you know, engineer access. So that's probably like going to be like micro components. Shield generator. I'm guessing it's somewhere behind that door. Not accessible right now. It kind of feels like a retaliator in here to some extent. Go ahead and see where this takes us. I honestly don't remember this elevator when I was testing it out <laughs> as an avocado. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I died, apparently. Alright, so this is where I died. I tried to get on this elevator. It killed me when I went back up, so I just kind of edited the video. Right next to that is where you're going to see the captain's quarters. So if we go in, this is kind of endearing. <laughs> got a teddy bear baseball bat you know some little hologram thing i actually really like this captain's desk because it's kind of homey you got books you've got the big screen behind you you've got some controls right in front of you um, in here you've got the bed where you have lockers you've got a shower um, you've actually got a full-on closet and you have a bed so all in all we're going to go ahead and head back to the bridge we'll go ahead and follow our signs bridge but let me give you some external views of the ship because it is obviously awesome. Nope, that's our locked bridges here. It's not a bad design. Um, like it's not as confusing as trying to find your way around a Starfarer, for example. But it is a little confusing. So at times you can be like, "Oh my god, this all kind of looks the same." It's kind of got a retaliator feel on the inside, where it's like, "All right, this is pretty tubular. A little bit hard to find your way around, but that's okay." So now that we're in the captain's seat, here is the ship. And this thing is the hotness. So turret right here. I know it's in the dark, but you can see it. There it is. Two turrets on the side, one on the top. You got some hefty landing gear, two on this side. I mean, this thing is just brimming with gun power. <laughs> let, me, let me back out of this thing. I mean, look at this thing. It's about as awesome as it gets. 
So as far as this goes, I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of combat testing with this. Um, PXP is going to be great because I can put PXP guy 1 there, 2 there, 3 there, 4 there, 5 there, 6 there while I fly this thing around and we get to see what 24 size 4 weapons does to other ships. And I, you better believe that I will be giving you a lot of details on that. I just can't do it right now because we're in PTU. It's very early. It's hard to coordinate those things. So I will have that in a follow-up video. If you guys have any questions about the ship, let me know. Otherwise, um, there's going to just be a lot more information coming on it later. Oh, and you can see right there, um, the turret on the center line, um, to the left and right of it, you've got missiles to launch. I think we have, uh, it looks like six on each side, so probably 12 total. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on them for you. There you go. So yeah, that's the Hammerhead. It's a ship that I am probably more hyped about than many lately. So uh, if you guys have questions, let me know. But if this if this little shot right here doesn't get you hyped for the Hammerhead, I don't know what will. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions. Stay tuned for more and have yourselves a wonderful evening and take care.